3DC Game Day starts right now. Thank you for tuning in to the first ever episode of Third Down Chirp Game Day. Alongside analysts Tyler Bradfield and Connor Onion, I am Noah Reed. Really, you know, was a guy that came out every day and acted the same and worked as hard as he could every day. I mean, it's hard. It's really, um, it's really rare to find something like that. Even when he came in right as a freshman, that's the one thing I noticed. Neil pulled out his inner Johnny Manziel on this 41-yard run here, breaking numerous tackles, going for the touchdown, and. The Cardinals scored 28 unanswered points to beat Eastern Michigan in the MAC opener, 28 to 17. What was your mom's reaction when she found out that you hit the shot? But she didn't believe me at first. No, she, <laughs> she thought she thought I was lying. Then uh, the hour, like around like midnight, she saw like top 10 players in the ESPN, uh -huh. and then she like uh, messaged me. She's like, "Oh my God, you actually didn't make it." What are you thinking? I'm thinking I gotta get this blood sugar up, man. Gotta keep, gotta keep the heart pumping. Gotta keep the heart pumping. So you're gonna go Skittles or what? What's the plan? Wildberry Skittles, without a doubt. Oh. Without a doubt. Run into a Toledo team that is red hot right now after beating two Power 5 teams. In Northern Illinois, they had to slip up with Central Michigan, where they're always a tough out, especially in DeKalb, Illinois. So you can't really fault Ball State for dropping three straight with, with a schedule like that. Jacob Bartleson standing outside Schumann Stadium and the sled. Let me tell you, these people know how to tailgate. New Orleans Saints, after his first career catch against the Arizona Cardinals, he was hyped. What else was I hyped about this week? McDonald's <laughs> is serving all day breakfast. Willie Sneed's hyped about it. I'm hyped about it. That's the face you make when you get that McGriddle. It's automotive and Ball State Athletics, driven to be the best. Stoops, we're driven. We're driven to be the best. It, it, it's, it's a lot of strong emotions. For me personally, um, earlier in the day, I, I try to stay calm and cool, especially if we have like a, a night game. You don't want to be so hyped and energized early in the day that you're tired and exhausted once the game actually comes. So, Winning your quarterback, Eric Patterson, a guy that used to cover you every single day in practice, what advice can you offer up to them now? You know, I talked to those guys actually yesterday. I talked to Juwan and EP yesterday, and I told them, I was like, man, I was right where you were at a year ago, and I know what it's like, and I know, I know their opportunity is coming. Your NFL career with the Ravens, now you're with the Cincinnati Bengals. What have you learned in your year and a half in the NFL? I learned that uh, you know nothing comes easy. You know, no matter what, every day is is a uh, is a gift at the next level. You know, you never know when your last your last day is going to be, um, and things happen. Things happen just because. You know, there's sometimes there's no reason to it. Not only are we getting picked, but we're making an impact in the NFL. We came out and can prove that yeah, we can play with anybody. It's not where you start, it's where you end up at, or where you finish. And shout out to the third down chirp team down at Ball State. Chirp, chirp, shout out to Keith. What's up, Trav? The Cardinals have allowed 196 yards per game on the ground so far this year. When opponents run for at least 150 yards against the Chippewas, they're one and four. Offensively, we've got to do a better job down in the red zone. We haven't finished drives well. We've driven the ball. Last week, we had several seven, eight, nine play drives, but we can't settle for field goals. We've got to get touchdowns when we're getting close. While UMass finds himself losers of three straight, Third Down Chirp Game Day starts now. This is your Game Day Forecast. It's Halloween here on Third Down Chirp, and they call me Duelhold, the spirit of the Doppler radar. And for today, I forecast Duel. But just for UMass on the playing field, it's actually me, Chief Weather Forecaster Michael Barons. I thought I'd get a little holiday spirit here going. Oh, it's everybody's favorite time of the show, or at least my favorite, because I get to watch these guys struggle <laughs> to carve pumpkins while I get to judge them. So we're going to start now. we got about five or six minutes. Guys, grab your utensils, dig in. Let's start carving some pumpkins. I'm asking you, what are you being so uh, I can have a gauge uh, here? Where's Waldo was last night. Uh, <laughs> I've been Lucius Malfoy from, uh, from Harry Potter. That was another one of my costumes. You can zoom in. I if, like mine. If you're watching, if you're watching at home, <laughs> if you're watching at home, we got Connor's pumpkin sure. over here. It says sure. Sure. He, he didn't carve anything out. He didn't do anything. It's probably different, but it's nice because, you know, sisters butt heads sometimes. No, and yeah. we can just go our separate ways at the end of the day. It's definitely nice, too, because that way I'm able to branch out and make new friends, especially in a different place. And she's got her friends, and she's still making friends where she lives, and I'm still making friends, too, so that's nice. Before returning home for their final game against Bowling Green, on November 24th here at Schumann Stadium for, for Senior Night. Thanks again for tuning in. Have a great holiday weekend. Be safe, Cardinal fans.